problem is, it's not yeah, about the food. It's about the communication. How we get the communication? I'm gonna tell you what I think it is. I'll tell you exactly what I think it is. I think that the media talk about people when they eating like kings. That sort of scared them the hell. You're probably right. But it might have been a, a misjudgment at the moment to tell all these people to go. That the meeting will be there at five o'clock. Do you see how emotional this group was? The most emotional thing I ever seen in three weeks. I'm, I'm only concerned that they're all going to go back and they're still writing that, that they're going to go back and tell everybody in the camp, hey, we're not going to get food for three days and the, the meeting is tonight at five. There's only 605 people allowing that. 605. And then they can fire hazard, right? He told me that, that everybody must be quiet. They can't sit on the floor. All this stuff. I'm concerned that they're gonna go back and fight, and 200 people are gonna wind up there. And that's a very quiet place. Remember, it's only half public. It's half private. That you really try to tell them many times, and I didn't take you. I didn't take this man telling them right. it's gonna be an uprise. It's gonna be an uprise. It's gonna be terrible. Well, and it will be now. Huh? But we gotta, so we gotta started, avoid right? that. Yeah, we're gonna avoid that. Please don't, 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 don't have that meeting there. The cops warned us the other day. We were just talking a little loud. He said, you guys are going to lose your space if you... you can imagine all these emotions. You know, some people... We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. But at least we have to meet there for transparency, and then maybe we can move off soon. But we'll talk about it. We're going to meet... A mandatory switch, because if you think about it, if you, if you, if there's a family of the same people working at this group constantly, they feel, after a while, you feel like you own this group. So, absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yes. So, you have to switch. But they're not corrupted. In, no, the I'm not saying they're corrupt. But, you have to switch to the ones, which organizations after a while. Like, you have to just rotate. I'm not saying they cannot do it again. Or they just rotate. So, it's different people, you know what I mean? Different instead of just being one We gotta remember the good heart and this, the good intentions so yes, always. Yes. Because these are people who, who really are trying to help. It may not be, they may not be going around the right way now. They might underestimate the emotion about food, but... But it's earlier in the meeting, they, both days, they, they, they said that we're used, that, that somebody from higher up, and I don't know who, who from, sorry, from security, whatever, asked them to use food as a way of getting rid of members. Right, and that's a so major where did issue. That come that's, from? that's political processes being guided through the kitchen. That is no, not no, no, no. An outside group came and right, asked right. them to so, do that. Well, that's but even who worse. Was it? That's even worse. Who did it? Well, I think I have an idea. I think I know a few individuals, and I'll address that situation. Um, nobody can tell the kitchen to do anything but to keep doing a good job. You know, that's it. That's it. Nobody has the right to coerce the kitchen into a political action. No, people are donating money to make sure that people are fed. So the money is not the kitchens. The food is not the kitchens. The equipment is not the kitchens. Okay, that's that's it's not it's not coming from me. That's just the way the group is structured. It's a democratic process. The food, the equipment. And all of the employees in the kitchen are the people participating. It's not up to them to set the directives beyond what is served and what time is served. It's not about controlling the people. It's not about presenting an agenda. That's not the kitchen's place. So whether or not they understand that is obviously needs to be cleared up. They were responding to the request from someone. Well, sure. And but if they don't again, set the that term. wasn't brought up at GA. That was not brought up in the democratic process that we all represent. So that's what we're here for. We're not going to break. If that breaks down, the media breaks down. You know what I mean? Then, uh, then finance just goes and spends all their money on a Hawaiian vacation because there's too many provocateurs in the group and they feel like they're wasting their time. You understand what I'm saying? Well, if the democratic, if the democratic process breaks down in one aspect, then that surges all through all the others. Okay, yeah, I appreciate and that, that will not and cannot happen. Just like if you. So how would you stop the kitchen from closing down? Oh, uh, we replace the workers in the structure that's there with temporary workers from direct action. And believe me, I'm with them. I helped them for three weeks. I, I helped them for three weeks. I love them. They're really trying hard. Sure. I give them 100%. Really hard. Of course they do. Right? We all, do. we all agree that they're really they're wonderful. Really hard. The, now, the thing is that they didn't realize completely enough that the heart, the kitchen is the heart of the village, man. It's the old town square. It, it's, the, it's the old church. In a way, when I serve food, it's almost a religious experience. I look into the eyes, the kids are cold, they're hungry, and for them, for me to, tomorrow morning to tell them oh, we don't have no food today, yeah. and some of them, no, they, they, 